Hey yo, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. Today your boy Sky has a very exciting video about Dogecoin which you guys are going to love. Looking at the chart, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are having an incredible day. Just to see the overall chart and the trend, you guys can see the consolidation period. We are out of it and at the same time, we have broken the downtrend for now. You guys know at the moment, the crypto market is being so unstable considering Bitcoin. We do not know what direction we're going to go into. Before we get into it, if you guys are here for the first time and you don't want to stay up to date with everything to do with Dogecoin, I highly recommend you guys scroll down and tap the red subscribe button. Right yeah. there, also go ahead and slap a like on the video. It is completely free to do so. But at the same time, it will help me and you as the YouTube algorithm will push the video out to more people. More people will see the positive side of Dogecoin. They decide to join into the community, decide to buy the token. It starts spiking up and all of us make a lot of profit. So the best thing you can do is go down and slap a like on it. Let's go for 727. As I mentioned, the chart is looking very grim and at the same time the uptrend is starting to form it's not on an uptrend yet but it can form very soon and that would be incredible but again keep in mind at the moment the whole of the cryptocurrency market is so volatile due to bitcoin just crashing going up crashing going up so it could be a decade bounce, just be very cautious with what your decisions are in the crypto market at the moment. Now our Dogecoin today tweeted out a meme that I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen around. In 2013, we are just here to piss off Bitcoin. In 2021, Bitcoin, we are pissed. And then it just says mission accomplished. And it's obviously Dogecoin. Now what's interesting is Elon actually responded to this meme simply with the laughing emoji. You guys know Elon has been annoying the Bitcoin community so much and at the same time he's being a savior for the Dogecoin community but it's great to see that he's still seeing the humor in all of this fight at the same time I don't like the fact that everyone in the Bitcoin community is just blaming Elon for this crash honestly if you look into it properly it's just the whales controlling the price at the same time Elon actually saved Bitcoin from crashing when it hit 56,000 and Tesla started accepting it it was just a matter of time when it starts crashing again now talking about about risky if you guys don't know risky is very well known in the dogecoin community today he tweeted out saying the success of doge will not come as a surprise to those that recognize the undercurrents of internet culture dogecoin is born of a meme embodies the rebellious fun and community centered zygots of internet culture as such dogecoin will thrive in digital future do i agree with this 100 percent in simple terms just think about the fact twitter instagram facebook whatever you can think of think about memes think about the new generation how much they love memes and dogecoin is pretty much a meme created currency which is a digital cryptocurrency so the future is looking pretty good and talking about boy barry you guys know one of the people that actually went short on dogecoin and ended up losing losing close to 500 million dollars i'm not gonna say barry does not know what he's talking about but he still made a huge mistake barry gives a grim prediction for doge doge left the crypto industry astonished when it surged to become one of the largest coins however there are still those who are skeptical about doge's role in the future of crypto one of them is barry who believes doge market cap will sink below 1 billion okay that is just big dreams barry i'm sorry like i know I said that you're not dumb, but like, buddy, 1 billion, you think we're going to go under that? I mean, Bitcoin would have to come down to $1,000 for that to happen. Now, talking about Billy, the co-creator of Dogecoin, today he tweeted out saying, why is Bitcoin going down in value? It has a cap. Obviously, he is referring to the people that kept tweeting at him saying, bro, do something about Dogecoin. It doesn't have a cap, so it cannot go up in price. He's saying, well, Bitcoin has a cap. Why is it going down in value? He was just trying to explain to everyone that the cap does not make a difference as allowing the mining of dogecoin as she keeps the security of dogecoin higher when it comes to bitcoin it is already so secured but the other hand dogecoin is not as big as bitcoin now talking about coinbase coinbase will be adding dogecoin in a few weeks why is it such a big news coinbase has more than 50 million users that will access dogecoin coinbase has wallets coinbase will be the third exchange available to new yorkers for doge only robin hood and jimmy 
Gemini has a New York bit license. So you guys can see Coinbase adding Dogecoin is a huge deal. There are three big reasons. First of all, the wallets, the two which are actually being accepted in New York at the moment do not have a wallet. Third, the biggest thing out of all is more than 50 million people or new 50 million people will be able to purchase Dogecoin through a platform that they trust. Now, talking about the US congressman slams Elon Musk says the billionaire's support for Dogecoin is ingenuine. I mean, that's a big statement, but if you actually read this article, it's very interesting. Congressman pokes at Elon's motives for supporting Dogecoin. The cryptocurrency community did receive Elon's comment lightheartedly. In an interview with Bit Magazine, Congressman Warren is seen expressing his disapproval towards Elon Musk's show of support on Dogecoin, applying that the billionaire who previously had a run with SEC for market manipulation accusation could be caught up in a yet another battle with the regularity body. To see somebody as smart as Elon talking about Dogecoin, I don't know why would you do that. Everyone is kind of speculating about its motives, but I would say, look, he's kind of run right up against the line with SEC in terms of the market manipulation in the past. I hope he kind of stays clear of that, say Davidson. That's a very interesting claim that Davidson has said. It's up to Elon which way he wants to go. But talking about a very cool picture that was shared on Twitter, you guys can see right there, there was a Tesla where the number plate was such wow and there was a Dogecoin right next to it. And this person just tweeted out saying, drove past Elon on the highway today. But as you guys can see, the picture picture looks amazing. I would actually get that as my number play if I was able to do so in New Zealand. Now moving on from there, let's talk about Bangkok. Dogecoin can be used as a payment at a new croissant shop in Bangkangi. And as you guys can see, it's a very good sign. I would personally go in and accept Dogecoin as a form of payment and start using Dogecoin to buy some croissant and actually buy it and eat it. That would be incredible. Now talking about legendary investor Stanley says Dogecoin is like an NFT a magnification of crazy monetary policy. Now, what's interesting is in this, I actually do respect Stanley for this. In his interview, he did say, I would not go short on Dogecoin because Elon is supporting it. But at the same time, I am staying away from it. It does not affect me at all. Now, the thing you guys need to understand is I like the fact, okay, he doesn't like Dogecoin, but he doesn't have to hate it as well. He's just saying, I'm staying away from it. That's completely okay. But Barry, on the other hand, keeps saying that Dogecoin is going to crash it and leave your money, take your money away. Honestly, just to show those people wrong, I personally do want to go ahead and make sure that Dogecoin reaches the moon and I have been part of the team since day one. Now, buying stuff on Amazon using Dogecoin indirectly through BitPay. You guys know BitPay allows you to use Dogecoin to buy a gift card for Amazon. And once you have the gift card, you will be able to go ahead and purchase whatever you want on Amazon using that gift card. So pretty much you can use Dogecoin coin to buy whatever you want on Amazon, but just indirectly through BitPay. Pretty interesting. Now talking about price prediction, Dogecoin price prediction. Doge eyes 30% gain as it bounces off the critical support. Dogecoin price is steering off a support at 29.3 appreciating bounce. A decisive four hour candle close above 32.8 will confirm the uptrend scenario. If Dogecoin breaks below 21.3, it is invalid and in the bullish narrative. Now what's interesting interesting is that is not going to happen. We are already going up. If we go over the 33 cent mark, we will be having another bull run. That is what he is saying. But other than that, thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on it. If you need to the channel, don't want to stay up to date with everything. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.